Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. When less sunlight reaches the northern latitudes, temperatures drop and more water freezes into ice, starting an ice age. When more sunlight reaches the northern latitudes, temperatures rise, ice sheets melt, and the ice age ends. Take our lead. We believe in the free flow of information humans lived in what is now Mexico up to 33,000 years ago and may have settled the Americas by traveling along the Pacific coast, according to two studies by myself and colleagues published today. Make your mark, take our lead. Reconstructed proteins from Precambrian organisms have also provided evidence that the ancient world was much warmer than today. However, other evidence suggests that the period of 2,000 to 3,000 million years ago was generally colder and more glaciated than the last 500 million years. Make your mark, take our lead. Yes, Earth has experienced cold periods, or ice ages, and warm periods, interglacials, on roughly 100,000 year cycles for at least the last 1 million year. The last of these ices ended around 20,000 years ago. Make your mark, take our lead. Researchers used data on Earth's orbit to find the historical warm interglacial period that looks most like the current one and from this have predicted that the next ice age would usually begin within 1,500 years. Let's help you make your mark. At least five major ice ages have occurred throughout Earth's history. The earliest was over 2 billion years ago, and the most recent one began approximately 3 million years ago and continues today. Yes, we live in an ice age. Currently, we are in a warm interglacial that began about 11,000 years ago. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.